if you want to improve your content, it all starts with your analytics. Hi bloggers, welcome back to a branch of Holly TV and welcome to day one of the ABCs of blogging and what I'm going to call the sort of blogging basics series. So we're going to kick off with day one and of course we're going to start with the letter A and we're going to focus today on analytics. Google Analytics can be really daunting. Most people take one look at the Google Analytics dashboard and think, whoa, this is way too technical for me and just leave. But here's the thing, in amongst all the charts and all the data are some really valuable pieces of information that can let you know exactly what your audience wants. Instead of creating content that you want, you'll be able to start creating content that they want and that is how you start to build a successful blog. So I'm going to take you through five metrics that will help you create content that your readers actually want. And this all in all just does not take a lot of time either. So I've thought of everything. And in case you're new around here, make sure you subscribe to this channel, especially during the month of April, because I'm going to be uploading one video per day for this exclusive series. So the first metric that you're going to want to look at is your audience demographics. Google Analytics has some really useful information about your audience. You can see their age and gender, both of which are really good in terms of creating your reader persona. And you can also see their interests, which can really help you understand your audience even more. So if your target audience is something that you're really not sure about, then definitely start off by looking at your audience demographics. Metric number two is your most popular content. Your popular posts are popular for a reason. Your audience wants more content like that. So if you create more content similar to the topics of your most popular posts, you're definitely on your way to building a successful blog. And when you look at this information in Google Analytics, it also gives you some more metrics to look at for each piece of content on your site. You want to look at a couple of things here. First of all, page views. So this quickly gives you an idea of what content is the most popular so you can produce more content like this. And then time on page. This tells you what content on your blog is getting the most engagement so you can create more content like that to increase your engagement. The third metric is your bounce rate. So this is the percentage of users who go to one page on your website and then leave. This could mean that a user came to your website, found exactly what they were looking for and then left. That's a good bounce event. Or they came to your site, didn't find what they expected and then left. So you need to figure out which one it is for you and your blog. So take a look at pages with a high bounce rate on your site and ask yourself, why is it like this? Metric number four is to look at how people are getting to your website. Wouldn't you just love to know how people are actually getting to your website? This is one of the best things about Google Analytics. Basically, this tells you what channels are performing best for you out of organic search, direct traffic, referrals, social, email, and paid advertising, if that's something you use. This is such powerful information and can really help you when it comes to evolving your promotional strategy moving forward. And the final metric you're going to want to look at is your traffic from social media. So why would you want to know exactly what posts are doing best from social media? There are quite a few reasons, actually. Number one, social media is one of the most time effective and cost effective ways of promoting your blog posts. And number two, social media is versatile. You can repurpose content, schedule in bulk and repost your top performing content. You need to find out which of your posts are performing best on social media and then, you guessed it, create more content like that. You can do this in Google Analytics. Just go to social landing pages and you can see how well a URL has performed 
on social media. So those are the five metrics that you can use to really develop your content strategy for your audience. So let me know in the comments, are you now feeling more confident when it comes to Google Analytics? Leave a comment and let me know if you are ready to dig into the numbers. And if Google Analytics is something that you struggle with or you want more content to help you evolve your whole strategy, then make sure you join my free resource library. I'll leave a link in the description below to get access to loads of free workbooks, cheat sheets, resources, you name it, it's in there. That's all for today, bloggers, in day one of the ABCs of Blogging series. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe for more blogging basics so you can get one step closer to a breakthrough. You just bossed it. <laughs>